Buenos días. Mi nombre es Roberto Sasso, yo soy el presidente del Club de Investigación Tecnológica. Quiero primero disculparme por el atraso. Aparentemente el tráfico en San José estaba peor que de costumbre. ¿Oyen bien atrás? Sí. Sí, ok. Bueno, este, vamos a dar inicio a este seminario sobre ciberseguridad, estrategias de ciberseguridad. Y la introducción la va a hacer nuestro gran amigo Richard Soleil, presidente del Object Management Group. Richard. Gracias, Roberto. Buenos días. Sorry, a little bit in English. I hope you have headsets if you need. Today we are going to scare you. We're going to scare you to death. We're going to scare you about using open Wi-Fi. We're going to scare you about who has been in your networks and you don't know it. We're going to scare you about how all of the information, secret information of your organization, your government agency, uh, your, your company is already in the hands of your competitors. Um, and we're going to scare you into realizing that just because Costa Rica doesn't have a military doesn't mean you shouldn't care about cybersecurity. You should. But we're not just going to scare you. The purpose of today is to give you strategies for dealing with the issue. So we'll start with a description of the problem, which is probably worse than you think. And then the whole, that's just one presentation, and the whole rest of the day is how do we deal with this? Not just the products that deal with cybersecurity and, and locking out people you want outside of your network and keeping your information private and secure, but how do we think about the problem, about who is attacking you and why? It's not just 13-year-old boys in dark basements downloading software off the web and attacking you for fun. It's people that want your information, the information that you want to keep secret. So you need to know, how do I share information with others who are being attacked by the same people? What products can I use, open source or commercial, that will help protect me? How do I find out if I have been attacked? And if so, what laws are relevant? So we have a speaker who's just going to talk about compliance with the rules that have to do with cybersecurity, because there are many. And then finally, can we deal with this issue in an organic way, security from the beginning, and not just trying to as we say in English, close the barn door after the horse has run away. You can do it. Um, and uh, I realize I'm talking to the wrong group because you are the group that realize this is a problem and we should do something about that problem. And there are thousands of ticos that should be here today and we'll find out the hard way that they should care about cybersecurity. But you'll be first. So. To prepare, please everyone take out your mobile phone, your cellular phone, and turn up the ringer as loud as possible, because we all want to know if you get a telephone call. Not everybody realizes that was a joke, I'm sorry. So. Uh, and I'd like to introduce our first speaker. He's the one that's going to scare you. Greg Rattray who is the Chief Executive Officer of Delta Risk. Delta Risk is a consulting company based in Washington, D.C. and San Antonio, Texas. I'm sure you've heard of San Antonio, it's in northern Mexico. None of the jokes are going to work today, right? <laughs> okay. uh, uh, Delta Risk is a company that helps organizations, companies and governments deal with cybersecurity risks, control those risks, uh, and, and discover what risks they have. And uh, I've seen Greg's presentation before. Believe me, you're going to be scared. Um, when he found out that the Wi-Fi here at the club is open, he said, I should have brought some of my people and have everybody's laptop go blank at the same time. Uh, trust me, it can be done. But then I see only a few of you are reading your email. You, for example. Everybody turn and look at him. He doesn't even know. That's okay. So uh, I'd like to introduce Greg Rattray. Uh, Greg has a, um, a background with the United States Air Force where he was involved in cybersecurity. 
um, at, uh, at the White House as well. Um, and founded Delta Risk how many years ago? Uh, six. six years ago. Um, and is uh, very successfully dealing with the issues of uh, governments, not just U.S. governments, uh, and companies uh, that have to uh, that have to protect their assets um, and and deal with the intrusions after they've happened.